Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new unit in deck. It has been a while since the last one. And yeah, I keep talking about the Codex of the Chaos Space Marines. Uh, keep talking about the uh, fast attack options. And the next fast attack option that we find in the Codex after the spawn are the Raptors. The Raptors is a unit with jump pad. Uh, they have been in the Codex uh, for a long time. And yeah, that's start looking what this unit can do in, in the codex. So the unit of raptors is costing 95 points and for 95 points you have you have four raptors and one raptor champion. The raptor has exactly the same profile as space marines with the difference that is jump infantry and the raptor champion have the exactly the same profile as a champion of the case space marines with uh, the particularity that is a uh, character uh, is, is, is jump infantry, jump infantry character. So we have just uh, average space marine with more mobility. Uh, the one here, they are equipped with power armor, ball pistol, plus combat weapon, frag crack grenades, and jump pack. So this is not a special compared to any chaos space marines, because at the end, uh, the the Chaos Space Marines can change the Volter by Volt Pistol and they can also have these options. The Champion, uh, special rules, the Champion have, uh, what's called this, uh, Champion um, of the Chaos Special Rule. Uh, this is the one that you have to accept if you uh, challenges and if you win, you roll in the uh, special table. And then the cause here. So they have the extra bonus and they can cause here. Uh, here is a rule that is mainly useless against any uh, against a lot of codexes, especially if you play against space marines, because if they have the rule and they shall no no fear, or if they have the rule fearless, fear is not impacting them. Uh, you can add up to ten raptors uh, for seventeen points for raptor. Uh, you, and up to two raptors can replace the bolt pistol by plasma pistol for 15 points, or can take one of the following. So begin taking the code that they keep the bolt pistol and the close combat weapon because it says uh, take one of the following. Don't say substitute any of the weapons, and they can take a flamer for five points, melter gun for 10 points, plasma gun for 15 points. The champion can take melee weapons and ranged weapons. The champion can take give of the mutation for 10 points. The raptor champion can take melta bombs for 5 points. You can give mark of corn for 2 points, tank for 2, marvel for 3, slanage for 3. Uh, and then you can give the icons as uh, in the other icon of wrath for 15, flame for 10, despair for 10. Icon of the Excess for 30 points and Icon of Vengeance for 25 points. How I see this unit, and I think uh, of how I will, I will use this unit on the battlefield. I will use this unit in patch of 5, with two special weapons and no more upgrades. Unless you're doing, you're using uh, some fluffy army and you want to use one of the marks. This will be uh, my way to use them. They are average space, uh, chaos space marines, so they are not that they are not bad, but they are not good in close combat. So if they fight a specialist uh, enemy or an enemy that is specialized in close combat, they don't have enough punch. So they are, they are, they can deal easily with. Uh, um, small units, but even if you assault five space marines, uh, they will not do that fast with five space marines unless you put uh, a power weapon on the sergeant. That uh, if you put a power sword, it's 15 points for the power sword. So I see this uh, unit as uh, a unit that takes opportunistic targets. What I mean by that, uh, you want to use the mobility, so the main advantage of this unit, the main asset of this unit is the mobility. And you can use the mobility to try to uh, hunt opportunistic targets. And for this reason, the option that I like is put two melta guns in that unit. So you have 95 points, two melta guns, 150 points, no more grades. You have a unit of five space marines that is pretty fast, and they can hunt tanks. 
Uh, the other option I see is also to put melter bombs on the sergeant, on the champion. In that way, if you don't finish the, the vehicle in the shooting, you can try to solve the vehicle and finish the vehicle in close combat with the melter bombs and the trap bombs. So this is the main way I see to use them. You also can try to use them to clean out uh, infantry, and in that case you can put two flamers in the unit uh, as they have good movement, they can move close to the enemy, use the two flavors, clean up the enemy, and then, yeah, but they are not done, so when I say opportunistic targets, is because I see them working in the flanks, working in isolated parts of the of the battlefield, where they will not receive a lot of shooting um, against them, but they are uh, safe from the most important shooting from the enemy. I think this unit is a flanker. It's a unit that you want to keep out of the main battle. You want to keep just flanking and try to take opportunistic targets there. Or doing deep strike, and because you want to use the shooting, you use the deep strike, and with the deep strike you just use your shooting weapons. So I think I, this is, I think, the best way. You can uh, add a combi weapon on the sergeant, or the champion, sorry, so in that way you will have, you, you can uh, combine, uh, when you do deep strike, you can combine the, the extra shooting of the, of the sergeant. The only mark, uh, as usual, the only mark I see more useful uh, is the Nargel, the mark of Nargel, to give a little bit more of survivability. But to be fair, the fast attack maybe is the best uh, slot of the Chaos Space Marines. Because we have the Hellrakes, so you, we have to think that they are competing with Hellrakes, they are competing with the Spams, and they are competing with the Bikes. And this is the main reason why Raptors are not very popular on the Chaos list, because uh, Bikes, uh, Hellrakes, and Spams normally have more utility than Raptors and have more flexibility, and give more flexibility on the battlefield. Anyway, I don't think it's a bad unit, a little bit too expensive, uh, but it's a unit that don't expect them to be a charging unit, don't expect them to be a close combat beast, they are not made for that. They are made uh, to hold on, to take objective, easy objective, and they are made to use the speed to try to hunt uh, opportunistic targets, try to uh, hunt targets that are not, are, uh, are not, uh, yeah, are uh, not well protected by the enemy, I will say. So, yeah, and I will not use, of course, any of the icons, and unless I'm doing, unless you're playing, for example, a Saint Army, then I will use the mark, but I will only use the mark if I'm playing a fluffy army. If you just want to be uh, efficient with a unit, the only mark that I really see useful is the mark of Norgel. Uh, you will pay 15 points more. I think this makes the unit too expensive. So this unit, I really wanted to keep cheap, uh, 95 points plus 20 of the melter guns, maybe 10 more if you put the combi weapon or 5 more, I don't remember. But we go uh, to 115 to 120 points, don't go far than that. Because they are easy to kill as space marines. Uh, they don't have uh, any excellent survivability, and I think this is the best way to use. So, yeah, see, this is how I see this. The Raptors, uh, another unit review from the um, products of the Chaos Space Marines, please let me know. Let me know if you use Raptor, let me know if you play Chaos Space Marines and use Raptors, how you use them, and what is your favorite configuration. Uh, and for now that's all. Uh, please comment, like if you like it, and if you want to support this channel, I have a Python account. Uh, you know in this channel uh, I do a lot of tutorials and uh, I try to do as much as, as possible. This have a cost, and yeah, your support is helping me to do uh, more and more content, uh, yeah, in a in a more reliable way. So, as I said, that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.